Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Our House 21 and this is a really quick video to talk about cat packs. Now, I have to admit there's a bit of an ulterior motive for this video and I'll get to that in a second. So first off, I've been promising to talk about this for a little while and I actually have a more involved detailed video on this subject coming but this is just a quickie just to get some information out there so first off what is a cat pack and why do i care well if you're running a high power configuration like dizzy here and uh you guys have been following along the channel you see that dizzy has been recently upgraded to 6s um so i've got my two battery trays here so all together this car running at 6s is capable of about four horsepower or three uh, roughly 3,000 uh, watts, so 3 kilowatt power system. That's a lot of juice. But brushless motors operate a little bit differently than your traditional brushed motors. With a brushed motor, you pretty much have a continuous load. So um, essentially the motor brushes you know, connect the circuit that turns the wheels and everything just operates fairly simply. In a brushless motor, like this configuration, and this is a Castle Creations Mama Monster 2 um, ESC with the 2650 uh, KV motor buried down here. So with brushless motors, they actually work a little bit differently because you see, instead of having two wires, they actually have three. So what happens with a brushless motor is that the speed controller actually connects different circuits so it connects these wires in different combinations let's say these two together then these two together then those two and cycles back and forth and those energize the coils inside the motor and that provides the force to turn it around so essentially you've got the speed controller acting like a switching power supply in a way where it's just going on off on off on off on off in various combinations so in a lot of ways it's almost like giving energy pulses like a strobe flash in a, uh, in a, uh, at a club or at a party. So you have this thing just going da 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 bing, 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 in succession, giving you your power pulses that makes it go. Batteries don't like to give power in on, off, on, off, ping, ping, ping type of situations. So with a cat pack, you actually put this guy in line with your ESC, and this acts as a, as a small supplementary battery. So for those who don't know what uh, capacitors are, just to take a step backwards, you see here, I've got a small mountain of these guys. But if you look at them, they almost look a little bit like a water storage tank. And that's kind of what they do electrically. Inside of here, you have electrical plates that are wound up, and essentially they can store electrons um, almost like a small electrical reserve tank. So when you connect it to your battery, like so, or in this case my ESC leads, it, um, it charges these guys up and it makes a small store of electricity here. So when the ESC, or the electronic speed controller, starts to send out its pulses, the energy for those pulses will come from the capacitor pack and then the battery that's connected up to this lead then recharges these at its own timeline. That takes a lot of stress off the battery system. It also uh, helps to give a more regulated or a more steady power supply to the speed controller and everything just works better. So you don't necessarily need to have a capacitor pack uh, inside a high power power system, but it makes everything work much better. It makes your ESC, your electronic speed controller, a lot healthier, and it also protects your batteries. So why am I filming this video? So as you see, well, I needed to make a cat pack for Dizzy for his success runs. If you see over here on the side, I've got Slade standing in the wings. He's running 3S right now, but the goal is to take him to a 4S and maybe even a 6S power system. Well, the power system will handle it already, but I may be adding a, a bigger battery pack to him later on for some more high power runs. So I need to have enough, I need to, to put capacitor packs in the system anyway, uh, but I didn't feel like paying the money to buy the uh, leading manufacturer's cap packs. So I consulted my uh, internet vending uh, vendor sources and I bought raw materials to make my own. I only really need three though. I need one for Dizzy and I need one for Slade. And I figured since I was at it, I might as well make one for Scratch there too. So 
that leaves me with a lot of excess materials. So I figure I'm in a sharing kind of mood, so I'll share with the community. So what you have in front of you are all my materials. And you know I have the ability to make custom cap packs now. So just to put it in perspective, so the leading manufacturer, and I won't say their name, I use their comp I use their products a lot, so those in the know know exactly who I'm talking about. But there is a the major brand of cap packs out there come in a four capacitor configuration, so they look a lot like this. However, if you read the descriptions on here, those capacitors are four two hundred and twenty microfarad capacitors. Okay. These guys or at least this configuration here is for 470 microfarad capacitors. And these are 35 volt units. Uh, that manufacturer uses 50 volt units. The thing is, the power system is only a 25 volt power system on 6S. If you go up to 8S, then that's a 36 volt maximum power system. So, you know, 35 volt, if you're running a 6S configuration, 35 volt capacitors are just fine. But if you look at it, this is, well, this capacitor pack is more than two times larger than the than the other manufacturers' cap packs. This little guy right here with the two packs is actually a higher capacity. So these guys right here, this again, you can see this is 470 microfarads. So two of these together is 540 microfarads. So like I said, you have a short, this little shorty cat pack, which is higher capacity than uh, the leading manufacturers out there. And so this guy I custom made for Scratch, which is running a 3S power system. These guys right here, well, this guy is, you know, set up for my 6S power system. And this is 1880 as opposed to the 880 um, that is uh, the other manufacturer. And I also have set up so I can even double that. So I can basically make a, you know, 4X, a 4X capacity cap pack as well. So what I'm doing here is I'm just gonna go ahead and list these guys built to order on eBay. So I'm gonna list this guy, the small cap pack for 15 bucks. You know, and this guy I make with a uh, uh, with 12 gauge wire, and you can solder it right in to the system. Um, and then if you go back and uh, so you essentially you install it by stripping out a little bit of wire, and then tinning your leads on the cap pack, and then just soldering it in between these two lines. And then for me, I just zip tie it, and then go back and cover the connections with liquid tape. And that seems to work really well. No need to use the big heat shrink or anything like that because this this makes everything electrically cool. And the way I build these guys, I coat the backs with liquid tape so it's all completely insulated. So you don't have to worry about any shorts or anything like that. You can see with the large capacity one, you know, I used the red and black liquid tape. But, you know, essentially decent workmanship. And for your install, you just strip off the section of wire that you want to use here. Connect it again, like I said, to your ESC. And then after you solder your connections, just cover it with liquid tape, zip tie it to the connections, and you're done. Now, I also have an extra little option that I did because in my configuration, I use uh, a lot of test equipment. So I, I soldered in a custom test lead so I can plug in my power meter to this guy. And um, so that way I can be running my battery and then also be getting my power meter in parallel so I can read off the voltages and log data. So this is an option, you don't have to have that. I'll include, if you would like to have this option on your setup, just, uh, just add $10 to the price. So the shorty cat pack, or sorry, a shorty cat pack, which is, like I said, uh, 900, no, no. Why, why am I, why is my brain not working? Okay, yeah, it's 940 microfarads. You know, so again, this guy is larger than the competitor. Um, I won't say competitor. It's, 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 this guy is, is actually a higher capacitor than the leading product out there. And um, $15. This guy right here with no test connection, I'll just say $25. 
and um, and if you want to uh, do something like a, a a 4x capacity pack just send me a private message and we can talk about that offline and I can set it up to pretty much whatever configuration you guys want so I hope this is useful for you and like I said I'm going to be doing another video uh, dedicated for the channel where I go a little bit more into detail and talk a little bit more about the inner workings of brushless motors and the power systems and all that other stuff so I hope you guys found this useful um, I'll put a link to my eBay auction in this video description and um, give me a buzz and let me know what you guys think. So as always, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and remember the mantra, fly, fix, fly, break it, fix it, and do it all over again. And this is Our House 21 signing out. Peace. Oh, and don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and all the other sources out there. You guys know how to get me. But Our House 21 signing out. Peace.